A startup called Protero is developing a new way to produce sugar extremely cheaply in a bid to lower the cost of making biofuels. Technology Review caught up with Protero CEO Kef Kasdan at a recent conference and she described what the company is doing. What Protero is doing is developing a fermentation ready sugar feedstock for biofuels and chemicals. So we start with sunlight, CO2, water and some nutrients and we directly make a sucrose that then can be further processed into fuels and chemicals. So unlike sugarcane or corn that has to be grown and then harvested and moved and then broken down into sugars, we make this sucrose directly. We make it in what we call a solid phase photobioreactor, which uh, we have our foot squared model here. Um, so the organisms um, are, do not uh, grow in a liquid um, submerged culture as with several other um, uh, photobioreactors that already exist. Uh, our different concept was a way to make sure we expose the organisms directly to CO2 and sunlight. And so the way we do that is we actually grow them on a fabric surface. Um, this container uh, that, that we're housing the, the, uh, the surface in is not filled with water, is not intended to be filled with water. Instead, we actually flow water uh, through a second layer fabric behind where the organisms grow, and that is sufficient to keep them wet um, and provide them with the nutrients they need. Um, our uh, process for making sucrose, this, uh, our organisms actually secrete um, the, uh, the sucrose so that uh, water flows in and um, out the bottom flows uh, water with the, the sucrose in it. Uh, and so we make a fermentation ready sucrose solution. Um, the organisms also need CO2 and they get that directly. It's actually fed in um, to this box um, and it's, it's flowed across the fabric. Um, and so the organisms are directly getting that CO2 uh, rather than having to get it bubbled through a, a liquid. Um, and they get direct access to light um, uh, as the light shines directly on this fabric. So what we've accomplished to date, um, uh, so as we, said, we have a, a natural system of cyanobacteria that makes sucrose um, when exposed to a salt stress. We have engineered that organism so that it um, makes the sucrose based on a different trigger, something we can control. Um, and we actually have completed the, the genetic engineering and we have a strain that continuously makes sucrose at levels that are production worthy. In addition to that, uh, we've shown you the foot by foot bioreactor. We've uh, got a picture there of that same surface um, with organisms growing on it. Um, and then we scaled it up to a meter by a meter. Um, so that's just the, the same idea, but just bigger in a bigger box with um, a lot of other um, sort of ancillary equipment around it. Um, so that's what we've accomplished to date. Uh, we've raised $5 million from Battelle Ventures and Bramer Energy Ventures. So uh, if we're successful, uh, we'll be able to uh, produce sugar at a much lower cost than uh, Brazilian sugarcane or domestic corn um, and be able to then enable the economical production of fuels and chemicals based on biological processes as opposed to petroleum.